Hello and welcome to Funk, Firm University's daily news show. Today is Monday, November 26th, 2018. I'm Charlie. And I'm Matt. In today's news, California officials report that the wildfires that killed 85 individuals over, the last, over last weekend is thankfully 100% contained. The fire is officially the deadliest in the state's history. The weather for today will be partly cloudy, with a high of 55 and a low of 29. Furman students will have the opportunity to go to Vino and Van Gogh, a local art studio, for a painting class and catered dinner from Augusta Grill. The tickets are $20 a pair, and the event will take place on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Stop by the FUSAP office uh, Wednesday to buy your tickets. What does it mean to be a person? Who decides who is a person and who is not? How have religious and philosophical debates stretching back to antiquity shaped the ways we think about personhood and the rights and responsibilities attached to it? Professor Scott Williams will explore these questions and more during a CLP event in the chapel today at 4 o'clock p.m. The God Forum CLP event will be held tomorrow at 8 p.m. in Hartness Pavilion. This is an opportunity for students to engage in an interfaith dialogue without having to feel pressured or defensive. While it is moderated by Catholic campus ministry, various religious figures from the Greenville area and students of any belief are invited to participate to ensure that a genuinely diverse conversation may be held. The Trone Student Center is looking for new members to add to their staff. Those interested should apply on Synced In before 11.59 p.m. on the posted deadline. Dates to keep in mind are group interviews on this Thursday and Friday, and individual interviews on December 4th and 5th. The CLP event, Can We Trust Election Results?, will be at 6 p.m. on Wednesday in Johns Hall 101. The CLP will examine the voting machines used in South Carolina's elections. Unlike most other states, South Carolina uses an all-computerized system with no verifiable paper trail. This voting and election system creates the opportunity for mistakes, fraud, and abuse. There will be housing and residence life info sessions today at 1245, tomorrow at 7 p.m. in Daniel Lounge, and Wednesday at 1245. You must attend one of these info sessions in order to apply to be an RA or FRAD next year. On Wednesday at 7 p.m. in Daniel Recital Hall, Dennis Gillen will review what he has learned at various colleges from the wonderful people he has interacted with on his journey. Dennis is a world-class storyteller, and with the CLP Talk, he will destigmatize mental illness by sharing heartfelt stories from those who have been impacted and persevered. Staring Down Fate is an award-winning documentary which tells the story of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's 30-year effort to save the Red Wolf through a restoration program in North Carolina. It will be presented on Wednesday at 7 p.m. in Patrick Lecture Hall as a CLP. And now let's take a look at the five least known and most underutilized locations on Furman's campus.
Until Funk came around, the TV studio would have been on that list. If you're interested in the radio room, contact us. If you want to book Metcalf Patio or the Hainsworth Room, you can do so on 25 Live. For the Thoreau Cabin and the Therapy Pool, you can just show up anytime they're open. And that's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check our website, can'tstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. Have a great day off for Panamanian independence from Spain, and tune in again tomorrow for our next episode.